What would happen if we jumped on the moon? Would we float away into the never-ending canvas of space? Or would we just fall off from the edge of the moon? Contrary to popular belief of floating away into space, we would actually land back on the moon. The moon has gravity like the Earth, although it is approximately just 17% of the Earth's gravitational pull. Others yet argue that we would fall off from the moon's edge. This is another misconception. The principles that keep us glued to Earth are not much different than the ones on the moon. The moon is spherical and we cannot walk to the end of it and just jump off. Additionally, the velocity required for our feeble legs to pull off such a stunt is unimaginable. Our leg muscles would have to thrust us with the same force as a rocket to enable us to push through the moon's gravitational pull. Another popular myth is that astronauts did not float away into space because they were wearing heavy boots. Let us assume that the moon had no gravity. Then, landing on it would be impossible, leave alone walking on it with heavy boots. So, let's debunk these myths using physics as the basis. The moon has gravity like Earth, although its gravitational force is weaker compared to the Earth's. The Earth exerts more gravitational force because it has many objects to keep them in place. The moon exerts less gravitational force because it has fewer objects to hold on to. Although weaker, the moon's gravity does not work differently than the Earth's gravity. It only works with 17% precision. Assume you weigh 100 kilograms on Earth. On the moon, your weight would be roughly 17 kilograms. So, if you were to jump on the moon, you would actually rise much higher than on the Earth due to less weight and weak gravity pull. You would actually jump six times higher than on Earth. For instance, if you can jump 1.5 feet on Earth lasting a second, then on the moon, you would jump to a height of around 10 feet and the leap would last approximately four seconds, assuming that you use the same force in both jumps. However, you will land much farther away from the spot you initially jumped on the moon. But this concept is not limited to jumping only. Most of the things that we do are related to distance and speed will be six times further and much, much slower. For example, if we were to throw a stone, it would go six times further away, albeit at a slower pace. Jumping from a high cliff would not be different from jumping from an elevation a few feet high because of the impact. Since impact increases with speed, jumping from a high cliff will not be severe because it will be six times slower and the impact would be reduced by one-sixth. Now that you have an understanding of the concept of gravity on the moon, you may be wondering how the astronauts are able to move on the moon, considering the fact that any slight movement projects them six times further. Initially, when the astronauts set foot on the moon, they had a hard time trying to walk on it. When they tried walking normally, they would fly high and fall over. A single step could project them six times further away. It was therefore not feasible to maintain normal walks. They devised a hopping run which would thrust them high up, but land them just a few feet away. It was much easier than trying to walk, and a single step can take you a considerable distance. It also posed far less risks. Thanks for watching. Please comment below, subscribe, and share this video.